What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Barry Hearn. Barry Hearn is not confident of Fury versus Joshua coming off in 2022. The president of Matchroom Boxing, Barry Hearn, is doubtful that Anthony Joshua will step in the ring with. Tyson Fury in a full division unification. A few months ago, the two champions were close to an, reaching to an agreement, and the date was set in Saudi Arabia. The fight fell apart when an arbitrator ordered Fury to honor a rematch clause due to Deontay Wilder. Joshua will defend his belts against Alexander Usyk, as we know, on September, September 25th, and Fury will make a defense of his WBC strap October 9th of this year. Should both champions come away with victories, there will be a heavy interest in having them collide in the first half of 2022. But the elder Hearn is not convinced that the fight will actually come off next year. And he stated, I'm doubtful. Okay. He said, Eddie thinks it will, but the money that was available last time didn't do it. I really hope we do. Maybe I'm just getting old and cynical, but I really just don't believe anybody anymore. I listen to a lot of rubbish and I am getting to the age where I just don't want to listen to it anymore. I want to say, put up or shut up. Get in the ring, give the public what they want. I know AJ is 100% there and wants to do it tomorrow. So let's hope Tyson Fury comes through with the same thought process as well. Best of luck to him. Should he fight Deontay Wilder as well? <laughs> Fury was initially scheduled, of course, to fight um, Wilder on the 24th. However, Barry Hearn agrees with his son, Eddie, who believes that the event was delayed due to poor ticket sales, which... The Fury camp aggressively denied. He also stated this. If you have got any common sense, don't listen to all the nonsense about we sold 15 million pounds in tickets. You can check the inventory online. You don't have to make up things like that. The British public are not idiots. They know, said Barry Hearn. I'm going to stop there. I think that's enough. The wise old Barry Hearn speaks words of wisdom once again. OK, <laughs> and this is what he had to say. And let me counter punch. He makes a good point with the money that they could possibly made. The money was there. Tyson Fury knew the money was there. Khalid knew it was there because he had the money. He had the, the venue. That's why they wanted to have it in that part of the world anyway, because of the money. They knew what Anthony Joshua made when he went out there and fought his rematch um, against the champion at the time, Andy Ruiz, right? Ruiz Joshua, too. And the money was there. And the amount of money that these guys were going to make was not enough. And that, that's really something to think about. That's really something that you really need to think about. And you don't want to be cynical, but then it, then again, it's like, let's look at Fury for a minute, right? Because it's not AJ. So you can, you can forget about AJ. We can't even, like, AJ is that guy that wanted it more than anybody else. And for all we know, Tyson Fury didn't even really care for Undisputed. His whole purpose was supposed to bend for money, right? How do I know that? It's because he said it. Tyson Fury said that, hey, I've had the belts that while Joshua has, I'm really rightfully uh, the owner of those belts because I never lost those belts inside the ring. So they're technically still mine. I have the WBC. I don't really care about the belts. They really don't mean anything to me. All I really want is the retirement check. Do you guys remember that backstory? This is all the things that Tyson Fury said. I can't make this shit up and I won't. Why would I? Um... So if money was the only motivation, that was the money. Now look at this. You said that the contract was expired, which we understand that to be bullshit. But you said 
that you'll never fight this man. And that had nothing to do with the contract expired anyway, because if you say you would never fight someone, that means never. Never fight a person means you won't fight him again in your professional career. Then all of a sudden, oh, well, maybe I will sticks and stones. See what I mean? But before that, you know the money that you could possibly made and you know what the, the uh, um, negotiations were. You knew what the money that you can make. And, and if you didn't know, you knew before the arbitration was over. So you knew and you had a choice. People say he didn't have a choice, but the motherfucker did have a choice. Everybody has a choice. See, if he said, like Tyson Fury said, I'm spending millions of dollars, millions, to make the Wilder fight go away. That meant you were willing to spend millions of dollars to avoid that fight, but you weren't willing to spend millions of dollars to get the Anthony Joshua fight in because that's what you wanted. See, here's the thing. Tyson Fury's already rich, right? And a lot of people don't think about this. Tyson Fury's already rich. So if he was going to get sued by Wilder, who, would, who says that the money that he's going to make from Joshua will impact that purse? If Wilder sues you, okay, you just have to pay Wilder, okay? You just have to pay this man because you voided or you breached a contract. So you pay for that contract, however that will be. So whatever the 40% will be of what he would have made, that would have probably be reasonable amount of money that he would have had to give Deontay Wilder. But then yet he says, well, I'm not getting him shit. I'll bash him again. So how are we really convinced that you really wanted to fight Anthony Joshua for all this X amount of dollars when the money was already there? Counterpunch. The money was already there. So what Barry, back to what Barry's saying is, he didn't do the shit with that much money on the table. Who knows if that will be the same deal again? It wasn't there for Wilder because Wilder lost. He lost that opportunity because he got beat by Fury. Things that are presented to you don't always stay there. Those offers are limited. So what Barry's saying is, well, damn, he had the opportunity to make a choice and he chose to fight Wilder. So who's to say this fight will go down if the money was already there? Oh, well, the only problem was Wilder. How do we really know that? How do we really know that was the only problem? I think he thought about it. He wanted to fight Wilder instead of fighting AJ. And it didn't matter how much money they gave or offered uh, Tyson Fury to fight AJ he still wanted to fight Deontay Wilder and he used the arbitration as an excuse because he could have used it as a way like he could have told them to go fuck themselves he could have done that he could have and people say that that has nothing to do with the WBC well I mean yeah it kind of does you know because Mauricio kind of comes in when he whenever is convenient to him which is retarded too because you know it, but then all of a sudden, the only way the WBC should have been involved is that he had to owe to fight a mandatory. You know what I mean? So them asking what Tyson Fury is going to do, you know, where he could be fighting Joshua, which if there wasn't a mandatory, we all know if there ain't a mandatory and you don't have any problems with the mandatory, Unifications trump mandatories. Okay, but there's a catch. If you don't have a mandatory, because who's to say that person that's mandatory will allow that to happen? Because they have to allow that to happen because they could get with their promotional company and their network or their promotional company, their team, and, and, and write to that sanctioned and body and say, well, no, we're not going to allow that to happen. Therefore, it won't happen. Okay, so that's the only catch 22 on. Uh, unifications versus mandatories that mandatory fight or fighter has to agree to it just like Alexander did when fighting joe joyce this year right he was going to fight joe joyce instead of hey no you know um but anyhow i think barry hearn has a point and i also know he has a point about the ticket sales you know anybody with common sense knows you look once you look at that stub hub and you looked at what you saw, 
you saw the for the tickets that were sold versus the ones that weren't. So we knew that. So that was BS. It wasn't 15. It, come on, stop, stop. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Barry Hearn's statements that he doubts that this fight between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua will ever happen. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.